come across a lot of bootleg cartridges in my day, but none have been so prolific, so profound, so other big words than the Super Luario 12-in-1 cartridge. Luario. I'm not too sure what that is, but I can only guess that it's some kind of cursed deviant art creation. So yeah, the Super Luario 12-in-1 is something that I found on Etsy and I, I just, I couldn't believe what I saw. This is literally something that the world did not need to see. So of course, I bought it. And no joke, a few days after it arrived, I went back to the store page to get some footage and it was taken down. Seriously, I don't know who did it, probably Nintendo. They saw Lou Wario and said, uh-uh, no, 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 boom, shut down. This cartridge has some of the most disturbing imagery I've ever seen. A bunch of random Wario and Luigi images combined with 2D and 3D Mario assets? Like, like, are you even trying? Clearly not. So let's check it out. Game number one is Super Mario World. Okay, thanks for coming. Yeah, Super Mario World, one of the most beloved Mario games of all time. Now, in this bootleg cartridge, and I feel dirty for that. All right, game number two is... Wario, my bro stole my money. Yeah, I only expect great things. Hi, I'm Wario. Yesterday, I... <laughs> Hold on a second. This reads like an opening to a cute slice of life anime. Hi, I'm Wario, and yesterday I woke up and found my money isn't here, and my bro isn't in his room. Hmm, WTF happened here. Find out next time on <laughs> Wario, who is your bro? Are you talking about Waluigi? Because if that's who you're referring to, you could just call him by his name. I mean, we're all friends here. I know that man. So here we have a cute little platformer. It's a really basic Mario ROM hack. Fun and accessible for anyone of any age to give it a go. Plays it safe, you know? So I'm about three minutes into the game until I come across this little Zelda shop called Brown Town. Which yes, is a poop joke. But once I left the shop, I realized that's it. I can't go anywhere else. This game must be a demo. That's highly unfinished. I did some Google searching and it turns out that, yes, this is a ROM hack from 2011 and has not had any updates since then. So thank you. Thank you for putting an unfinished demo of a ROM hack over 10 years old now into this cartridge. You're really looking out for the little guy. Up next is Mario Kart SX. Yet again, another ROM hack. This time though, for Super Mario Kart. If that wasn't already obvious. The game doesn't do anything crazy. If anything, it feels like DLC for Super Mario Kart. There's 20 whole new tracks to race on, which is really cool. As well as some character changes. Now having regular Donkey Kong as opposed to Donkey Kong Jr. And a paratrooper compared to a regular Koopa. I mean, this is all objectively better than a 4 minute Wario demo, but I'm over that! Heck yeah! You like Super Mario Kart? Here's more of it. Don't have much else to say, moving on. So these next two games were labeled under the title Castlevania 4. There were just two Castlevania 4s, I guess. I selected the first one and... Okay, yeah, that's Castlevania 4, alright. It's a great game, but what the heck is it doing on here? On this Super Luario cartridge? So far, every game on here has been a Mario game. But then we just get this random Castlevania entry? Whatever, why am I questioning things? But the second Castlevania 4... Yup, that's better! Again, it's another Mario ROM hack. This one themed around... Well, Castlevania. Meaning it's spooky and dark. And also, uh... What, what is that? Sorry, I don't speak Italian. This is a fantastic ROM hack with a ton of love and care clearly put into it. All the custom sprites, remade music, background art. This is a game of quality. Something I'll definitely want to come back to around Halloween. Seriously, man, just take a moment to soak in this awesome game. I'm not sure if this game is also a demo, but it was pretty short, lasting around 10 minutes. But length isn't always everything. <laughs> when there's so much content within the game to sink your teeth into, you can definitely look past its short runtime. The first and technically also final boss is this spiky Koopa shell that shoots out fire. It's pretty unique and original. I don't think I've ever faced a Mario ROM hack boss like this. <laughs> 
is great. This is fun! This is also probably highly illegal. Hence, once again, why it was taken down from Etsy. Everyone from Nintendo to the creators of these ROM hacks probably weren't too happy. Lightning round! Here's Tetris. You f find me a single bootleg multi-cart that doesn't include Tetris, and I'll marry you inside of a Popeyes. Like, if you really needed a puzzle game on here, why not choose the one that actually has Mario in it? I mean, it's literally right there. It's part of the collection. What's wrong with you? Mario's Educational Preschool Learning Adventure, whatever the heck it's called. It's also here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, why not? Sometimes I forget how to count. Thank God Mario's here to remind me. Find the pen. Ah, yes. Yes, of course. You did it all well. makes sense now. Next game is Battletoads in Battle Maniacs. Yes, of course, because when I think Mario games, I think Battletoads. Is it is it because Toads? Like Toad? Because if so, I'm genuinely hurt. Coincidentally enough, this is a game from my childhood, and it is pretty fun. Just walking around the underworld, punching pigs in, in leotards, okay, fine. I could rarely get past level 1 when I was a kid, but now that I'm a grown, fully functioning adult, I still can't beat it. Why is this game so hard? Don't get me wrong, it's a super fun time, just incredibly difficult. Or I'm just bad, either way. Okay, let's do, uh... I swear to Jeebus. This is just Super Mario World again! Like, look, I kinda get it when I play some outrageous numbered multi-cart, like a 15,001, but not 12. You couldn't just put any other SNES game in here, like Gradius, Aladdin, or Sunset Riders, which coincidentally are the next three games on here. No reasoning, no theming, no Luario hybrid to be seen. But on the plus side, that does leave us with one final game. Mario, 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 Luigi, 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 God damn it! okay! We could have ended on a higher note, but instead we get cursed nonsense. So the game starts with the same generic opening text box, and we have two levels to explore. Yoshi's house, which is literally just Yoshi's house from Super Mario World, thanks again for wasting my time, and Vanilla Secret 2, which is just this unfinished random level. It literally looks like a four-year-old made this stage. I'm not even kidding. It's just full of items placed randomly all over the level. And you can beat it in like 30 seconds, and then that's it! No more game! That's, that's the final game. I'm not even joking. And that was the Super Luario 12-in-1 cartridge. I didn't have a fun time. The fact that they had a bunch of Mario ROM hacks is kind of cool. I was honestly worried that it would just be a bunch of generic Super Nintendo games with, you know, maybe a Mario game thrown in there. I highly doubt that the seller of this cartridge got permission to take those ROM hacks and put them on his cartridge and sell it. I doubt that they got permission to do that. So it makes me curious as to who really shut down this Etsy page. Was it Nintendo? Was it the creators of these ROM hacks? Was it just society who saw Luario and said, uh-uh, there are children on this page, they don't need to see Luario. What other cursed creations can we create, huh? How about Marioshi? Let me know down below, because you sickos probably have a great imagination. Bye bye.